And page 220, marker. Here's a theory for you. You know Adam, like Adam and Eve Adam? Apparently, in his sperm, he held all of humanity. That's right. Every single stinking person to ever be born was already there in his sperm. What? Let's learn about that. Geeks, the place where you learn things about things, more specifically about things you thought you knew about genetics but didn't. Today we are introducing a theory of genetics in the past. It's called preformation. Basically, it is a theory of heredity that suggests that the egg or the sperm of an individual contains an teeny weeny itty bitty but not yellow or polka dotted, totally and completely preformed human being. That's right, just a little man inside a sperm waiting to grow up. This little man in the sperm is known as a homunculus. Now, if you think logically about that little homunculus man dude thing, he is still a man. A little man, but a man nonetheless. This little man in his manness then has sperm. Think about that. Let that sink in. Inside a grown man is sperm. Inside that sperm is a little man. Inside that little man is more sperm. Therefore, inside that sperm is another little man. And on and on it goes. This theory then explains why and how Adam contained all of humanity, as well as how, in Adam, all have sinned. Huh. This was a widely assumed theory in the 17th century, and one of the key people that provided evidence for it was Marcello Malpighi. Now, Malpighi was most famous for discovering capillaries and determining how blood travels from the arteries to the veins, but that's besides the point. Malpighi also studied chick embryos, and this is where his results and theories get a little wonky. When Malpighi was studying the chick embryos, he studied them as young as 12 hours old and observed the first cells that would become the chick's heart and blood vessels. There are even scientific drawings out there about what he was seeing through the microscope, yet Malpighi refused to believe it. He held so tightly to his preconceived notions. Aha, uh -huh. get it? Preconceived. Uh, anyways, he held so tightly to his preconceived notion of the preformation theory that he did his absolute best to disregard the evidence that was shown in the chick embryo of the cells multiplying and changing, so he explained it away, continuing to hold fast to his idea of preformation. So there you have it, folks! Now you know another theory of the past, and although it wasn't exactly accurate, it helped the history of genetics move further towards the knowledge we have today, Genetic Geeks. Signing off.